In this video, we'll follow Chapter 3 of the Analytica tutorial and analyze the Rent vs. Buy analysis model. You'll see how to perform importance analysis, parametric analysis, and compare alternative decisions. You might view these as different types of sensitivity analyses. In the Tutorial Example Models folder, there's both a Rent vs. Buy model and a Rent vs. Buy analysis. In the previous two chapters, we used the Rent vs. Buy model, but in this chapter, we'll use the Rent vs. Buy analysis. The analysis varies is essentially just the internals of the model we used in the previous chapter without the user interface panel. In addition, this difference between renting and buying has been added and is now the objective node. Let's look at its result. The difference between two uncertain values is also uncertain, and indeed here it's a probability distribution. The most likely outcome would be that buying costs are about $60,000 less than renting over the time period, but there's a small chance that the difference could be three times that big, and some chance the difference could be negative, meaning that renting could actually end up costing less than buying in the end. It is often useful to understand how much the uncertainty in each input to the model contributes to the overall uncertainty in a result. Analytica's importance analysis does exactly this, and it's already been set up here in this node. Of the five uncertain inputs in the model, the uncertainty in appreciation rate contributes the most to the output uncertainty. If you were so inclined, you could now concentrate on getting a more precise estimate for appreciation rate. You also know it would be a waste of time to improve your estimates for marginal tax rate and maintenance, and maybe even insurance. For instructions on how to set up an importance analysis in your own models, refer to the Sensitivity and Uncertainty Analysis chapter in the Analytica User Guide. At this point, it is useful to explore how sensitive the results are to appreciation rate, which we can do by varying appreciation rate across several different values. This technique is called parametric analysis. Some people call it sensitivity analysis or what-if analysis. First, we need to switch to edit mode, which you do by pressing this button. Now we navigate to the definition in the attribute panel, where we see that appreciation rate is currently defined as a normal distribution. We're going to change this to a list of possible values. This is called the definition type pulldown, and from it, select list. It asks if we really want to replace the current definition with a list, and of course we do. Type negative 10 in the first cell and press return. It adds a second cell. My keyboard on this computer has two different keys. Analytica actually treats these differently, which turns out to be quite convenient. I use the one on the number pad when I'm done editing a field, and I use the big one, also called the return key, when I want to add a new line within a field. A moment ago, I pressed return, which added a new cell. Let me show you what happens when I press the number pad enter. I'll type negative 5 and now enter. This time it did not add a new cell. I press the big enter key and now I get a new cell. I can also press the down arrow key to add another cell or I can use the right mouse context menu and select a pen cell. My laptop computer has only one enter key. To simulate enter on the keypad I have to hold down the alt key while I push it. On laptop keyboards I like to reverse these so on that computer I change a preference setting. Use return to enter data. This swaps the two enter keys so you would now hold the Alt key down to add a new row. On this computer, though, I'm going to leave it the way it was. We have our list of possible values. You can see how the value of buying varies as a function of appreciation rate and how the value of renting is unaffected. A 10% increase in appreciation rates translates to a $120,000 difference, more or less, in your present value of buying. Also, the value of renting and buying cross, where housing prices depreciate by 5% per year. The appreciation rate variable is acting as an index here. It creates a dimension over which the values of this and other values vary. The table button switches to table view where we can see each numeric value. The graph button under it switches back to graph mode. We can also use parametric analysis to explore alternative decisions. In fact, Analytica allows you to perform parametric analysis on several variables simultaneously so we can explore how the sensitivity to buying price interacts with the sensitivity to appreciation rate. Let's change the definition of buying price from a single number to a list of values using the same steps as before. Use the mid value for the difference between buying and renting. From the spacing between the curves, we can see that the difference between buying and renting is more sensitive to buying price at low appreciation rates. We can also read off the appreciation rate at which buying and renting break even at each buying price. But for another view of that, let's go back to the present value result. Here we see the buying and renting curves when buying price is $120,000. We call this pivot control here a slicer since it selects which slice from a multi-dimensional array we are viewing. Here the result has three dimensions. Click 
these little arrows to toggle through the possible values or click this down arrow to select a particular value. We can also pivot dimensions, for example by putting buying price on the horizontal and appreciation rate as the key. These pivot controls operate in the same way in table view where you can pivot to view any 2D slice of a multi-D result. It's important to get comfortable with table and graph pivoting. It's a key skill for viewing and exploring results. In this lesson, we performed several types of sensitivity analyses, importance analysis, parametric analysis, and the comparison of decision alternatives. In the next lesson, you'll start building a model of your own from scratch.